right, I literally just woke up and now I'm recording a video, so if I don't have the correct words or if I stumble through this, that is why. And if I'm sounding a little bit rushed, it's because I am. And today, we are reviewing the short film called Garden Party. And this one, it's an animated short film, but it looks pretty fucking realistic. Um, I'm finding it hard to believe they must have used like some live action implica implications because some of this like okay I know you must have like mixed live action with CG or whatever else but even even then the CG or whatever else the animation it looks really fucking good there's only like one or two shots that kind of like don't look as good um, but the story for this one is you kind of follow these frogs. <laughs> you follow these frogs that look, that look just like real frogs. I think that was like one of my main problems with the film at first. I was like, ah, it's kind of hard to like relate to frogs that don't have like any like human uh looking emotions or human ish character traits they're just they look like normal frogs and i was like how am i supposed to follow like the story of what these things are doing if they just look like normal frogs and as the thing kept playing i was like they're just these fr the whole thing is literally just these frogs that are walking around this dude's uh, well, at first you're just like, they're in a house. Like, why are these frogs in a house? And more specifically, they're like in a pool. And I really was like, okay, what what is the story here? And that is slowly revealed to us. At first we get some shots of the frogs in a house. They're just exploring, doing some weird shit. And then we get a shot of them like in this guy's bedroom. And then we see a, a shot of a gun. Like they're walking by this gun. And then, you know, as they're creeping around this pool, we start to realize, why are there all these fucking frogs here? And then we see the frogs like hit a button on this guy's like pool, I guess. Like there's, it's like a, it's a really fucking rich house and he has a button to his pool. And that like, removes all the water in the pool and as the water is draining we see that a dead body kind of emerges out of the water and that's kind of and it's the music playing for this it's like a dramatic mindfuck kind of reveal this is a like animal planet film about frogs turned into like a like a big twist movie like a big mindfuck and I love that. I think that's a really cool idea. I don't think there was, you know, that much payoff other than just that cool ending. But that cool ending is enough to, you know, make it uh, a likable enough film for me. Um, I like this short film better than, like, uh, the movie I... W the full 100-minute movie I watched last night. So, personally... I think that this film, you know, it, it, it was basically just the ending, but there was these, those frogs, I don't know why they're all there, it still doesn't make sense, I don't know if, I don't think frogs are attracted to dead bodies in pools, um, but you know, it made for an artistic little, little piece of work, and it looked pretty gorgeous, this thing looked, everything that was animated looked real, I will say that to the point where I'm like really like trying to comb through like which parts are animated and which parts are not and I really liked um just the idea um that I was like trying to comb through like I looked back for a couple parts I was like what happened here I was trying to piece together the scene like I was like okay here's the gun does the guy have a gunshot like, did he get murdered? Did he kill himself? Like, what happened to this guy? And all of that's kind of just left in the air. I, I didn't even see a gunshot on the guy, but um, I obviously 
might not have seen that because his body was like blown up and you know his tongue was like the size of my hand he, he, he was a weird looking dead body he was a weird one but uh that's basically it for this one um I'm gonna give garden party a six out of ten it was a really interesting one I thought the way the way they felt formed it together was pretty interesting it was still better than deer basketball anyway um i still can't believe that won best picture for that year but anyway thank you guys for watching i'll see you tomorrow with another episode and if you want to check this one out it is on the interweb somewhere anyway thank you for watching and with that i leave you